Like most homes, we use our side door more than we use our front door. And by that side door, I've built a bench and some storage and a French cleat to hang coat hooks and backpacks and such things off of. And you can watch the video of that build. In this project, what I'd like to make is a marker board with a small shelf for things that we keep right next to that back door and to write notes on and lists and things that we need to know as we're leaving and coming home. The design that I came up with is basically a panel door system with the panel being the marker board. So I have two styles and three rails. And I'll have two, two panels and two shelves, one, one for pens for the marker board and then one for a brush and some detangler for my daughter. Cause it always seems like we're trying to comb her hair just as we're rushing off to school every morning. Getting started, I can cut a piece of oak to a, to a rough length. And this piece will give me enough wood for the two styles and the three rails. So I'll joint an edge and a face. And then from there I can cut the different strips that I need. I can plane it to a uniform thickness, which will make everything go together nicely. Now what I'd like to do to hold everything together is to have a tongue and groove joint between the rails and the styles. So I'll cut a groove in the styles, which are the vertical sections. And I can run it through once and then turn the piece around and run it through again. And this will keep the groove centered. Now for the rails, two of them have a groove on the top and the bottom. So what one groove per rail. And then the one in the middle has a groove on both the top and the bottom. So two, two grooves. So I'll cut those pieces out to rough length. Now what I need to make is the tongues that go on the rails. And I'll get the length set. And with a few passes, I'll get the height set right. So I'll do one side and then flip it over and do the other side. And get it to a point where it fits nice and snug. Now that looked like I was cutting the tongues on the rails, but actually that was just the test piece because I left these a little long. So now I can cut these to their final width or length, I guess. Now with everything set up, I can cut the tongues very quickly. For the panels, I can get their width based on the width of the rail. I will make the panels just slightly narrower than the width of the rail. I've got a little scrap piece of marker board I can use. For the lower panel, I wasn't quite sure what to do, whether I should put more marker board down there or put like a piece of cork down there or something like that. But with the, with the shelf in front of it, I figured I would just do some plywood. And this is how the pieces go together. You can use a marker board. <laughs> now I'll glue it together. At this point, I just want the panels to fit and I don't really care that the lengths of the styles are different because when, once it's glued up, I will cut it down to size. Panels glued up. The trick with a raised panel door is to make it bigger than you need. And then once it's all glued together to then cut it down to its final size. With this joint, you can see that the tongue is just a little bit short, but that's okay in that it, it, it makes it a lot easier than trying to make the tongue exactly the right depth because it's the, it's the joint that you're gonna see that's important. I wanted to make dados for where the little shelves would fit into the, into the door. And I didn't want the, the dados to come up through the tongue and groove. So they're gonna be very shallow dados. So I cut the dados. And now went quite quickly. Now it was time to start gluing things to the, the panel door. So the first thing to make was the cleat that would go at the top. That would hold the panel door up on the French cleat. A little bit of sanding, get everything flat and get a little bit of glue off. And then I added a thin layer of, of glue. And I got this fairly close, but I was gonna trim it down on the table saw again. So it didn't have to be absolutely perfect and two nails just to hold it in place while the glue dried. What I also needed was a little spacer at the bottom so that it would hang correctly off the French cleat. I wanted to put just a little bit of taper on the vertical part of the frame 
This would help clean up the edges and the little bit of blowout that I had when I was cutting the dados. Now I found when you're doing a taper on two sides of the same object, you have to widen up the jig by twice. So I had it at half an inch and I moved it up to an inch and then tightened it down. This worked for cutting the other side of the door. Then I worked on the shelves and I needed to plane them down to the thickness of my dados, which I did. And I cut those to, to length, which was just a little bit longer than the width of the door. And where the pens were gonna go, I wanted to cut some grooves so the pens wouldn't roll around or roll off. And I glued those in place with a little clamping. I was thinking I would put in a screw or two in the back to hold these in place, but they seem to be fine just with the glue. So, so for now, they're just glue. And now the glue is dry. Now I left the shelves just a little tiny bit long and I can sand them down to be flush with the sides of the door. I didn't want to try and cut that angle and match that angle on the side of the door before I glued it in place. So I just glued it in place and then just sanded it flush, which was much, much easier and much more accurate. I sanded a little bit. I found for the edges, just doing some hand sanding was a lot cleaner, and a lot less dangerous, I guess. <laughs> and I cleaned up the surface with mineral spirits and then put on some finish. I just used wipe on polyurethane. That's what I've used on the other parts of this project, so it'll match. I had to be careful to keep it off the marker board. I wasn't sure what what that would do to the surface, but I didn't want to find out. And it looks good. And there it is. The pens fit. And a brush and some detangler. And we're ready to go. Thanks for watching.